While being a squad leader for the Oklahoma Army National Guard, Staff Sergeant Keisha Ann McCurney looks just like any other soldier. But she's not your average soldier. In 2005, after returning from deployment, Keisha had an accident that would change her life forever. We got home from Iraq in February 2005. And I came off active duty in April, came home, and in June I was riding my motorcycle. I was just going to rent a movie, been having a good day being back in the States, and I had a front tire blowout on my motorcycle. I immediately lost control, veered off the road in an instant, hit a sign, and it cut off my leg, rolled me off into the ditch, and my motorcycle went into the woods. I was airlifted to Dallas, and my left leg was amputated below the knee. Despite now having a prosthetic leg, Keisha perseveres. I think the guard kind of helped finish raising me and helped me develop as a person and help continue to develop that drive. When it came time to go to college, that drive that I feel in the military continued on in the civilian world and I wanted to pursue a degree in aviation so that I could become a professional pilot and hopefully to fly for the military. Taking advantage of guard benefits while going to college is not all the citizen soldier does. Since the accident, Keisha has continued her service to include another tour to Iraq, competing on the Army's national rifle team, and climbing to the top of Africa's Mount Kilimanjaro. I didn't think that I would get to stay in, but before I even woke up in the hospital, my battle buddies were there. and They were believing in me and helping me. My inspiration to join the military were my grandfathers. They were both in, and I grew up listening to their stories, and that drive in me, I, I loved everything they said. I loved every story, and I just grew to be drawn to the military, and as soon as I was old enough, I joined. It was a dream for me. And I didn't join to pay for my college. I didn't join for any other reason than patriotism. I plan on being in the Oklahoma Army National Guard for the long haul. It's helped make me who I am. I've made some of the best friends of my life in it. I wouldn't be who I am today without them. My inspiration to stay in is God because, because I believe that God designed me to serve and I know that I'm supposed to be in the military. I know it to my core that I'm supposed to be in the military. I know very few things in my core, but I know that. And I will be in as long as I can. And I want to show other people that they can do it too, that no matter what happens to you, you lose a limb, you can continue on and you can do anything. Reporting for the Oklahoma National Guard, I'm Army Staff Sergeant Amber Osei.